Hi, and welcome to Giant Dogs. Uh, this here is Angel. She's a Tibetan Mastiff. Uh, those of you who have watched my videos, you know who she is. And um, I wanted to talk about um, putting female Tibetans together. Um, you know, I've, I've talked to her breeder specifically, and they called me and, or they, she sent me an email and she goes, hey, if you know anybody who's looking for uh, a female Tibetan, you know, let me know. She had one available, and I said, oh, gosh, we'd love to take her if we could. And she says, well, no, you definitely don't want to put two females together. Um, they don't tend to get along. So um, I just want to put that out there for you guys, just in case you've, uh, you know, you're considering getting a Tibetan and you've already got, um, you know, a female dog around. You know, I imagine in, in bigger pack situations, um, it wouldn't be as big of an issue. But females tend to get a little possessive and they tend to get a little grouchy around other females. But um, just as a caution, you know, be aware. Um, she's been around females before and she doesn't really get along with them quite as well as she does the males. So, um, you know, just, just a word of caution from someone that's, uh, you know, owns one and has, has been through that situation. So, anyway guys, um, you know, there's a lot to know about these dogs if you're if you're interested in a Tibetan. Um, really, I mean, if you're going to spend the money and invest in a dog like this, um, you really should invest in, in a book uh, about them to really kind of get an idea before you get involved because they're not your run-of-the-mill dog. Um, they're not a bad dog to own, but they're definitely more of a challenging dog to own and definitely not a first dog, for sure. Um, you really got to have pack mentality down and, and alpha uh, mentality down. If you don't have that, um, these dogs are going to own you. And that's really not the situation you want. Um, you want a dog that's, you know, submissive to you and and really um, respects you. And if you don't know how to do that, you can get yourself into a lot of trouble with, you know, 150 pounds worth of um, <laughs> very intent dog. So anyway, guys, that's just my recommendation. Um, definitely read a book on these guys. They're very fascinating. The history on them is fascinating. Um, you know, they're they're an impressive dog. But again, they're not for everyone. Uh, you really, you know, for probably every 10 people that think they want a Tibetan, maybe one can really own one. Um, and, and that's just being honest about the situation. Um, we got her because she was in that situation. You know, they wanted her and uh, I ended up with her. Let's just put it that way. So keep that in mind. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe.